Yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't interrupt you in the five minutes. Yeah. Let sorry, me finish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're right. Okay. So the point is, those traditions come from the later Imam of and the later Imam Muhammad Bakr, Imam Sadiq in Islam. So to make a claim that we have taken it from the Khalid of Imam Zain, Islam is false. In fact, a non bai will not be able to show me a single narrator in our four major books who has his name included within the killers of Imam Hussain. However, I can show you at least two, two people. Umar ibn My your your reports are based upon te the testimonies of people who killed Hussein, the okay. people of Kufa. Okay, so now, okay, okay. my our reports are not based upon okay. those people. That's totally false. You are right. following the this religion of the okay. very people okay. who killed Hussein. Okay, one second, one yeah. second. Okay, yeah, that's now, the point. Okay, so that's now, the difference. Okay, firstly, firstly, who, who killed Hussein? Firstly, the people of Kufa. That is totally false, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, the killers of Imam Hussein include one, some of the, your most notable Sahaba, Shibs ibn Rabi. He's a narrator in Sunnah notable. Abu you tell me one Notable. killer of Imam Hussein. Yeah. You tell me one killer of Imam Hussein who we've narrated from in our four books. I will name you at least okay. three or four. Okay. Umar ibn Saad, you ask me the a killer of Imam Hussein. You ask me he a was the first to cut the ropes of Imam Hussein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's me. a narrator in Sunnah uh, in Muslim Abidin. You ask me a question. Go on. You ask me a question. You said that she had narrated from one, the killers of you, Hussein. You, tell you, me. you give me one narrator yeah. who was a killer of Hussein. You said Umar ibn Saad. In, in your books. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm going to. I'm going to come. I'm saying your entire literature, right. your entire Al Kafi, Malla Yahdur al Faki, Al Tahdib, Al Istafsar, right. go and look at the chains. Yeah. 99% of them. Thoughts. One is totally false. And now, why are you wrong? Shall I tell you why? Let me, let me finish my point. Brother, I didn't even say anything in case of false. No. Okay. 99% of them are Iraqis, and 19% are out of those 99% are Kufans. They're from Kufa. Okay. Now, who killed Imam Hussein is a very good question. Who were the people who drew the swords and the spears and arrows? You see, Shimmer was one, Omar bin Saad was one, and other names you mentioned, yeah, few people. Their arrows could not possibly kill 70 people. Do you all agree? Yes, there were 70 people there with Imam Hussein. Where did all these thousands of arrows come from? Obedullah bin Ziyad only came with 18 people. When he came, when he was appointed by Yazid, yeah, he came with 18 people. Okay, where did the rest of all these people came uh, come from? Thousands of arrows, right? All of them, the people of Kufa, the very people who invited Imam Hussein, Shia to Ali, Shia to Hassan, Shia to Hussein. Okay, okay. okay now I'm not finished yet. Wait. Okay, people can, can go and check can these we, facts. Wait, can we time wait, this, please. Yeah, Allah. Yeah, can we keep this as a topic? Okay, yeah. okay, class. Okay. Keep this topic. Uh, okay. Now you can start your videos. Yeah, 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 new topic. New topic. Okay. The topic is who killed Hussein. Okay. And what is our view on them? Look, I practically, practically. Okay. Wait. So the time now. Let me finish. The time now is seven. Yeah, leave the time. No man. Listen. I don't look. I respect you as an older brother. Now the problem is then we can't interject. No, we, I won't interrupt you. No, I know, no, I, we, we, no, we should. Did you see me interrupt? We, we should, we should. No, Let me finish then we go off on a tangent. Look, it's 21 minutes, 1721. You have three minutes to make a point and then I'll make my point. And I'll respond back to all your accusations. Okay. Then I can't, uh, uh, if you're making a mistake or if you misrepresent You can correct me after that. You can say to me, say, oh, you've got this wrong. No problem. Because no of problem. this reason. So, two minutes. Let's keep yeah, it two minutes. Minutes. Let's oh, keep two it minutes. Minutes. Okay, 17, 21. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Who kills Hussein? And what is our view on the killers of Hussein? First of all, we believe the killers of Hussein are the most unfortunate individuals who walk the planet. They will stand on the Day of Judgment with people who killed prophets. We don't believe Hussein was a prophet, uh, but they will be standing, those killers of Hussein will be standing next to the killers of prophets, people who killed prophets in Banu Israel. Who were these people? The large majority of them, the large majority of them were the people of Kufa, whose very children are the majority of the narrators in Al-Kafi and other three books of the Shia. The Shia, the Imamiya, the Twelvers, are actually following the religion or the view of the people of Kufa on the Ahlul Bayt, not the other way around. And who were trying to protect Hussein? 
Go and read history, you will see Ashabur Rasul crying to defend Hussein and trying to stop him, prevent him from going to Kufa. Why? Abdullah bin, Hus Abdullah bin Umar, Abdullah bin Abbas, Abdullah bin Zubair, Abu Sayyid al Khudri, all these people they went to Hussein, they begged him, don't go to Kufa, they will kill you. Yes. They are betrayers, they are liars, they are munafikeen, they will kill you. Hussein radiallahu anh did not listen. Okay? Now, where does the religion, the entire chains of Al Kafi, if you study those men, they are all from Kufa. So, who is following the true religion of Ahlul Bayt? The Sunnis? The Shias. So, the killers like uh, Umar bin Saad, Shimr bin Ziljoshan, we have no sympathy for them. People who were directly or indirectly involved in the killing of Hussein, so long as uh, history proves their involvement, we condemn them. We believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deal with them accordingly. They will face the, the Prophet sallallahu on the day of judgment and they will be in Jahannam. They will be in Jahannam, those who killed Hussein radiallahu anh. This is our view on them. Whether it's Umar, whoever killed Hussein, whether who, I, I, I believe any, even an, if, if, if even a, if a man who uh, landed from the heavens, he, he was involved, he will be in Jahannam. This is our view, okay? To the contrary, on the other side, how much time is it? Uh, you've got, you've had uh, four minutes so far. Four minutes? Yeah, I'll give you four minutes. Carry on. Please. You have four, four minutes. minutes. I will give you five minutes. Okay, okay. okay. Five minutes. Okay. So, so our okay. view is that these people whose reports we find, for example, uh, please ask a question ex to me in between that time ex 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 Exceptionally, exceptionally, they have been rejected. Our ulama are very clear on Omar bin Saad or people like Ziljoshan, Shimmer uh, Ziljoshan and anyone else who was involved. In fact, go and read the views of our ulama on Abu, uh, sorry, um, Zia, uh, Ibn Ziyad. Ibn Ziyad, our ulama believe he was one of the worst creatures who walked the planet, okay? And all those people who agreed with him and were happy with it, were happy with it, okay? There were certain people who were under compulsion, like Omar bin Saad, some of our ulama, they've said that he committed a great crime, a huge crime, yeah? And that was under duress. Now, Shias don't believe that. I respect that. But even then we say, we have no sympathy for him. This is a crime you cannot commit even when you are compelled, even when you are under duress. This is something you cannot do. Would you kill your mother if someone forced you to do it? No. No. Would you kill your children if someone forced you to do it? No. How could you kill? So this excuse we do not accept. Some people make this excuse. Okay, that's it. Okay, so... Uh, so, um, Adnan Bhai, thank you very much for your introduction and your position, the Sunni position. Um, uh, sorry, Sunni position, but... You said you, you brought a blog to the Salafi school, right? So you've stayed in the Salafi position, is that correct? I'm not a blind follower of anyone. Okay, that's fine, no problem. But you, are you affiliated to the Salafi school of Ahlul I'm a free Muslim. Ah, Ahlul Sunnah Diwal Jama'ah. Okay, whatever. Yes, I follow the Ahlul Sunnah, yes. Okay, for, yeah, but obviously Sufis will claim to be Ahlul Sunnah. I, I, I believe in certain things Sufis believe in. Yes, yeah. okay. You compromise Okay, so are you, okay, in theology, what are you, an Ashari or an Athari? I'm from the Ahlul Sunnah Diwal Jama'ah. I don't like to label myself. Okay, well, Atharis don't play, declare the other groups to be part of Ahlul Sunnah Diwal Jama'ah. I am so saying, I I'm saying I will follow the haq wherever it is. Okay, fine. So basically, Adan Bai has just admitted that he picks and chooses the parts of his religion which he finds as suitable. Okay, no I, pick, I pick and choose That's the haq. So the first allegation... I pick and choose the haq. We don't lie follow. Okay. Okay, so the first point Adnan Bai make is regarding the, the killers of Imam Hussain Yes. He said the first point of view is that the Sahaba advised Imam Hussain Islam not to go to Kufa because they were treacherous Deceiving individuals. You, you agree with that? He is absolutely and utterly <laughs> right. And let me tell you something, <laughs> brothers and sisters. That. Let me tell you something. So Sahabas did try the to. The very same save his people life. who wrote letters to Imam Hussein alayhi Islam included prominent narrators of hadith within Sunni literature. And I can prove that to you very simply. The way I can prove it, the way I can prove it to you, not is the word I will, prominent. Listen, listen. I will, I will, okay, no problem, prominent, no problem. You made an allegation, you said that Shias have narrated from the killers of Imam Hussein. You yes. cannot give me a single narrator, and by the way, let's, be, let's, 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 let's point out something here. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein al Islam took place obviously before the, before the Imams, that, like for example Imam Muhammad Bakr and Imam Jafar Sadiq. Most of our reports that have reached us have come from the Imams who came They after. don't even go to the Prophet. Okay, no, no, that's a different matter. Let's even Hussein and Hassan. I didn't, I, I didn't interrupt you in the five minutes. Yeah. Let sorry, me finish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
You're right. Okay. So the point is, those traditions come from the later Imams of and the later Imam Muhammad Bakr, Imam Sadiq in Islam. So to make a claim that we have taken it from the Khalid Imams, then Islam is false. In fact, a non bai will not be able to show me a single narrator in our four major books who has his name included within the killer's Imam saying. However, I can show you at least two, two people, Umar ibn Saad. Umar ibn Saad, according to your classical scholars, like for example, Ibn Hajar Asqalani, he says, he admits, he goes, he's from the killers of Imam Hussein, but he's truthful. Shibs ibn Rabi, Shibs ibn Rabi was amongst those who wrote letters to Imam Hussein, who invited him. In fact, he was such an individual, when Imam Hussein was reading his letters, when he spoke to the people of Kufa, he started mentioning the names. He said, Shibs ibn Rabi, where are you? Where are you? You're the one who signed this letter. The, the point being is that if you're going to make a claim that we have narrated from the killers of Hussein, no problem, fine. Bring a proof. Name me one narrator in, in, in any of our four books that suggests that they were from the killers of Hussein. You have a few. I just gave you two in the example. You have others. So that's the first point. The second point is, what type of Shias were they? Okay, for one thing, they were not Twelvers, because they were not Twelvers at that time. So what were they? What did we learn? You look at Tariq al-Tabari, when the killers of Imam Hussein were introducing themselves, they actually said, we are cutting the water just the same way you cut the, you, your people cut the waters to Usman. The narrations in Tabari, they, they actually introduced themselves as Shias of Usman and Shias of Mavia. In fact, in Tariq al-Tabari, there's a tradition when uh, Ibn Ziyad was asked about the loyal supporters of Mir al-Mu'mineen at that time, Ma'il islam in Kufa at the time. He had most of them in, in, in prison, most of them were killed. Uh, Hani, uh, I believe Hani uh, ibn uh, Urwa was amongst the, I think it was Urwa, he was amongst the last few people, loyal supporters of the Ahl al-Bayt who were present at the time. But okay, fine, let's just put the blame on Shias. Let's say Shias have everything to do with the killing of Zayn. We were Sunnis. We were all the Sahaba from Medina. Why didn't they come? Were they having a picnic in Medina to let the grandson of the Holy Prophet, the peace and blessing be upon him? If we can hold Shias accountable for the killing of Hussein, we can likewise hold the Sahaba accountable for the killing of Usman. Because let's not forget that it was the same Sahaba who also betrayed. Who Sorry, carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Uh, uh, he wants to change. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Remember the points, brothers. Remember yeah, the points. Remind yeah, yeah. me. Remind me. Yeah, so in, in case I miss something. Go on. No, I would never hold Sunnis accountable for that. We can never blame whatever has happened in the past. No, you can't. You can't. Because because that's, we'll not Islam, that's not Islamic. Yeah, that's not Islamic. But the point is, look, we have these slogans often amongst Muslims, and that is that, you know, we hold Shias accountable for the killing of Imam Hussein, even though Adnan Bai admits that we should never discuss the things of the past because there's many things we, we, can, we, can, we can hold the Sahaba accountable for when the Prophet's teeth were made shaheed. This is a very, it's a very irrational so argument to bring up. Make it, make but it. But the point, is, the, point is, look, the point is, look, I can quite easily prove from Adnan Bai's books that they did narrate from the killers of Imam Hussein Islam, but we didn't. Okay. And, and they call them trustworthy. They call the killers of Imam Hussein Islam trustworthy. Okay. But, okay. So first point you made was, uh, remind me of the point, yeah, the first, yeah. First point the brother made, um, Sayyid Ali made, that we, I said that the killers of Imam Hussein were narrating in the Shia books. I said children. If you remember clearly, I made it very clear that children of the people of Kufa, these very people who killed Imam Hussein, and there were thousands, 5,000 of them. Where did these people come from in Kufa? I ask you a question. When they started narrating from the Imams, Imam Jafar Sadiq, Imam Muhammad al Bakr, when these people are narrating from the Imams, were, did they just pop into existence or did they have parents? They had parents, right? Their parents had sex and they were born, right? But where did, where did the parents come from? Parents came from their parents, right? And when you go back, those parents are the very same parents who directly killed Imam Hussein. That was the army. The people from Syria, you can count them on your fingers. 5,000 soldiers who were slaughtering the Ahlul Bayt. Who were they? Who were they? They were the people of Kufa. Even in the Shia books, there is a narration that Imam Zain al-Abideen, the only male survivor of the battle, when he was being taken into the city of Kufa, he saw the people crying, striking the cheeks, right? Like a lot of the Shias do today, yeah. striking the cheeks. Right. And Imam Zain al-Abideen, true, you've come across this report before. Yeah, yeah. Imam said, why are these people crying? Why are they striking? Why are they striking the cheeks? 
and they said they are mourning your father. He said, if they did not kill my father, who did? They are the ones who killed my father. They invited him. Kill him. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And these are people who are narrating in Al-Kafi. That's the point I was making earlier. Now, coming back to the issue of uh, whether Omar bin Saad is beloved to us or not. He's not beloved to us. Our ulama have made it very clear. None of them praise him for what he did. In fact, they condemn him. Sufyan Authority said, how can you even narrate from him? Mm -hmm. Sufyan Authority said, right? On top of that, when they say he's truthful, they say he's a killer. He's a murderer. Is it possible for a murderer to speak the truth? No. No, no, it is possible. A murderer, a criminal can be truthful. If he kills, if he's a murderer, whether it was under duress or whether out of his own choice, does he have to be a liar? No, that's the point the Sunni scholars are making, that he is not known to be a liar. He is definitely a murderer. He is definitely a killer. He is definitely a criminal in our school. So you can't... How many people have you seen worshipping Omar bin Saad? Oh, his picture. Oh, telling his, or, or, or telling stories of Omar bin Saad in our masajid. Omar bin Saad, the great man. Okay. Uh, Umar, the greatest Sunni who ever lived because he killed Imam Hussein. How many people do you, you don't, we don't do that. No, we don't. And the Sahaba, you asked the question that where were the Sahaba or where were the Sunnis? Why did they allow Imam Hussein to be killed like that? You know what? You know what? First of all, the Sorry. majority of the Sunnis Sorry. had no idea what Imam, uh, Imam Hussein is doing until very late. <coughs> it was so late that Abdullah bin Umar found out very late that Imam Hussein has left. He left quietly from Hajj. People were coming into Makkah for Hajj. Very quickly. Let me finish my point and then you, because it's very important. You raised these questions, yeah? Inshallah. People were coming for Hajj. So accuse the Sunnis of betraying him is the worst thing you can imagine. It's the worst it's the worst injustice you can do. Why? Because every single one of them who found out he's going, they tried to stop him. Abdullah bin Umar traveled, an old man on the camel back, on the back of the camel. For three days he traveled to stop. So this is the character of the Sunnis, right? And even Imam Hussein didn't know he was going to be killed. He thought he will actually find support. What, how did he respond to Abdullah bin Umar? These are the letters, thousands of them. Look at these bags full of letters. They are waiting for me. They will support me. They are the Shia of my father. He, Abdullah bin Umar being an experienced man, an old man, a scholar of Islam, he told them, they will betray you. Just like they betrayed your father, and your brother, they will betray you. You cannot trust them. He said, no, I will okay, go. That's five, okay, five minutes. I'm finishing right, last sentence. He went, and then when he found out that Muslim bin Aqil has been killed in Kufa by the betrayal of the Kufans, he turned around. Imam Hussein didn't want to fight the people of Kufa or the Banu Umayyah. He turned around, but it were the children of Muslim bin Aqil. They said, no, we have to go and get the body of our father. We will not return. We will not go back. For that reason, Imam Hussein, because of their persistence, he continued moving towards Kufa. And then he realized things had changed. Circumstances had changed. Magnitude, sorry, uh, the dynamics had changed. So you cannot accuse. Okay. But these people who okay. killed him, okay. their children are the narrators of Al-Kafi and all the three books. Huh? Now answer that. So where did they come from? Okay, one second. One second. Did they pop so, into existence? Okay, first. Did they come from us? Is Ubin Saad Dika? Okay, so we need to go. Okay, so first. You, you, you weren't here. I know, I know. You weren't here. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Can you respond to my point? Oh, yeah. so, these children. That's who, fine. Whose children so, are they? I had six minutes to respond. I will try to respond to it. Yeah. Less than six minutes. So the first point is, let's go back and let's, let's step back in history. Let's look at how Iraq became an established state. Okay, what we do know for certain is that Iraq was a garrison town. Okay, it was a, a city which involved a lot of trade, and we know that during the rule of Umar, many Sahaba from Medina, several tribes, went and settled in Iraq. In fact, Shibli Numani, the famous author of the book Al Farooq, he has a whole chapter dedicated to the Sahaba who went and right. settled during during the rule of uh, yes, Umar so in, in, in Iraq. Okay, so first point is that they, these were a group of Sahaba who made migration. And we'll do the dua well, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Continue, continue. Hi boys, tic-tac interruption. <laughs> so, so the first point is that these were Sahaba who ultimately made migration from Mecca, Medina and settled in Iraq, but Iraq was a, a city that involved a lot of trade and business. Oh. Oh. Now, one thing for certain is that Umar being the second Khalifa would have never established a Rafadi state in Iraq. That's, that's 
what we know for certain, for sure, yeah. He wasn't a sta establishing a Shia head, you know, a Rafi state. Where's your stand? Take almost a second deep. During the rule, as I mentioned, with the Rafi the Shibli Nurani. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He's part of the Shibli no, Nurani says he conquered it, yes. He conquered it, and yeah. then Sahaba went there. Look, uh, whatever I'm going to say to you now, viewers, you can go back, you can look. You, the book's called Al Farooq, written by the famous Indian subcontinent. Have you scholar. read it? Yes, I have. Back to front. But okay. Let me please my five okay, minutes. Let me, okay. let me test you on it. Okay. 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 Five minutes, so, five yeah, because he talks about the incident of the door and all that stuff, the pen and paper. That's no problem. We can discuss that afterwards. But the point is, <laughs> the point is, the point I'm trying to get <laughs> is that so Sahaba, he, he refused the Shia in the book. We can discuss that afterwards. Right? <laughs> okay. Suddenly, of course, he's going to refuse. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why are you natural, calling so, him? Natural, man. Why do you call our book? Guys, okay. come listen. <laughs> Carry on. So, <laughs> so the point you believe in that? So you believe in Shia? Listen, listen, listen. This is the point. So the Sahaba went and migrated, and they settled in these areas. So there were children of Sahaba who were present and their offspring who were present in Iraq up until the time of Imam Hussein Islam. Now, as for the letters, as I mentioned earlier, Brother Adnan would not be able to provide a single narrator from the four books who were amongst the killers of Imam Hussein. What he did say, however, what he did say, however, was, oh yeah, but you know, it's from their offspring. But we can say, let's step back forward. They were from the offspring of the Sahaba. No, they were not. Who's been they were. Finished. Listen, listen. No, you're no, I'm finished. Wait. No, no, you're finished, then I'll talk. Yeah. Still, three. Yeah, carry, so, carry on, carry on. So, we, that's that, to bring that argument, is, 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 is who, an who extreme. Was son of so, who was son of Sahaba? Who was son of Sahaba? Who was son of Sahaba? So, 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 to bring that objection up that these people were from the children of killers of Hussein, actually, let's, let's take a step back. They were from the children of the Sahaba. They were from the children of the Sahaba. Now, I still wouldn't blame the children of the Sahaba to be responsible. Well, I wouldn't blame the Sahaba's fault, that's not the Sahaba's fault, just in case like Mavi and Yazid. Would we blame, I mean, obviously, some you people do may, yeah? Do you get my point? You do, you do. We do, we do, we do. <laughs> 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 we'll come to that. Mavi is really a bad example. We do. We do. That's a bad example. No, Takiya will work in front of you. don't need that. You don't need that. We do. We do. We do hurt Mavi because he broke the tree or whatever the condition. But the point being is. Then blame Imam Hassan for giving him back. So let me just let me just sum it up very quickly. Sahaba left and migrated, some groups of Sahaba, their children, went and migrated in Iraq. Number two, Yazid, Imam Hussein's situation of him giving bayah to Yazid was not something alienated to the Sahaba, because Yazid actually went to great measures. In some traditions, for example, Ibn Hajar Asqalani in his Fatal Bari, he actually discusses the name and the list of Sahaba who were even offered bribery to accept Yazid's Khilafat, okay? So your point is, you're leading to a point, so the point that these is, people narrate, uh, yeah, they, they so, are the so, children of so, Sahaba. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say to you is that it's not, it wasn't a mystery. Yazid actually sent forces to take the Pledge of Allegiance from Imam Hussein Islam physically. And that's why Ibn Kathir in his Badai al Nahaya, it, it narrates an account where Imam Hussein Islam said that my grandfather, he told me that there will be a frog and this frog will be killed in the holy land of Mecca because at that time Imam Hussein was performing pilgrimage to Mecca he was on the way to Hajj but when he was made aware of the, the situation at the time he left Mecca to go to Karbala due to the letters that were written because at that time he was <laughs> under the impression that his supporters came from Iraq Diga, right? So why am I saying you, you messed up the minutes, you messed up the whole history? No, I haven't. <laughs> you I haven't. completely I messed it up. I will prove it to you. I will prove it to you. You books. made a no, no, of it. Listen, let me finish. So the point is, so the point is, he <laughs> made he made migration uh, uh, from uh, Medina at the time, and he took why? Because his his life, the the, the bayah was going to be taken by force. Yes. And threats were made against him. So he wasn't. He, he, In okay. fact, I, so I, he I, left Medina for that. He left Medina because for two reasons. Number yes. one, mm -hmm. he didn't want to be that frog who died in that land. Yes. Number one. Yeah. Number two, at that time. We don't he, accept this report, by the way. Okay, you don't have to. Most of history. Ibn Ibn to me, no, Ibn to me, I said most of history is weak anyway. But you, you, know, you, know yeah, our you know our standard of history. Right? Yeah. No problem. You can't just quote. Listen, you can't. You write. You, 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 you listen, you're right. You cannot quote history just like. If you were to scrutinize history, if you were to give me change of traditions and say, okay, bro, we only accept. Traditions which are Sahih, you might throw most of the history books away. No. Because most no. of your books. No, no, no. Yeah. We, have, we have authentic reports okay, we'll on Karbala. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss yeah. that. Okay, yeah. we'll discuss that. Yeah. We'll discuss that. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll discuss that. So the point is, he made migration from that area into Iraq at the time because he received letters. Okay? okay. He received letters. Those letters were signed by individuals who are narrated the in children, books. children of Sahaba, huh? Well, they Sahabi. were from the offspring from the Sahaba, from the okay. sah Sahaba who okay. made. Uh, migration uh, during the time of the rule of Umar. Okay, can I come okay. in now? Yeah, no, but last the final yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, the, the Suleiman ibn Surad, 
he was a notable companion of the Prophet. I've never heard of him, by the way. Suleiman ibn Surad is a narrator, is never a heard Muslim. Of him. He well, was the head time. of the Tawabu. This is clutching, clutching okay. on straws. Okay, Suleiman ibn Surad <laughs> is a noted Surd. Some say Surd, some say Surad. Yeah, but Surd. Suleiman ibn Surd was the, the head of the Tawabu, no, no. who were those very people who betrayed Imam Hussein. <laughs> And he's a narrator in Muslim. He's a Sahabi Rasul. He was the same individual he was the only who one? narrated the oh, no, bro. He's the head of the Tawabun. Oh, so oh, head, who gave oh, him this headship? Who oh, gave him the crown? Oh, wait, 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 wait. He was no. So he just made a who, give, who put the crown on his? You're the head of Tawabun. Oh, you're a scholar. You're a scholar. You're a scholar. For example. Okay. I'll, I'll bring a scholar. So a Sahabi wrote a letter. So, 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 so why are so, you looking? Let me let me respond. Okay. So now Adnan Bai is going to respond. I'm all I'm asking Adnan Bai is number one. Okay, one last point he said. He said, yeah, well, our scholars, they accept that these people were responsible for killing Hussein. You know, we do narrate from them. Well, he admitted that. Well, okay. Okay. But, uh, but, my but, my but, response. But, but the thing is, we don't praise them. Okay, fine. Well, if that's the case, then you show me one narrator. No, no, we don't praise them. No, we, we, condemn, them. we, condemn, we them. condemn them. We condemn them. We believe they're the worst creatures on the planet. No problem. But you consider okay. them truthful people. They can be truthful. They, they can be telling the truth. At at time. Time. So, now, yeah. now let's yeah. use the same principle as Adnan Bai. Yeah. If, for example, we have narrators in our books yeah. who could be amongst those who were responsible for killing Imam Hussein, yeah. you show me any of our scholars who've said, "Oh, this guy, well done. He's a good, la he's a good person." Good point. Yeah, you understand. You good point. Good comeback. Same, good comeback. Let's, let's I like that. Principle, now, so let me let me let me respond to the first point first. Right. First of all, we do not take reports from the killers of Hussein. When you say reports, we have thousands of reports. We have thousands of reports. Check this out. Amazingly. The fact that Sayyid Ali is talking to me, I'm very happy and uh, other Shia brothers and sisters will be able to listen to this information. We have thousands of reports in our books. And all Sayyid Ali could find was Umar bin Saad and the other individual he mentioned. Shipped, shipped, and we have, we, have, we have thousands of narrators of hadith. Our ulama systematically, systematically minus those individuals who were either directly or indirectly involved. Right? Unless they were majboor to take certain reports. For example, I'll give you something. There was a man who was a known Nasabi. Known Nasabi, a known hater of Ali bin Abi Talib. <coughs> Marwan bin Hakam, who was the governor of Medina. Right? And there's a report from him in Bukhari. And it's on history. It's not on Akida, by the way. Amazingly, note the point that Bukhari brought this report from him on information on Hudaybiyah. And Sayyid Ali and I, we discussed this topic before. Why Marwan in the first place? Amazingly, when you look at the chain, who is narrating for Marwan? It is Imam Zainul Abideen, one of the 12 Imams. One of the, so, to Bukhari, if Imam Zainul Abideen is narrating from Marwan, knowing well these are Nasabi, on information on a particular uh, incident that took place, no Aqidah, no Fiqh, nothing, just information on history, for example, okay? He took it because Imam Zainul Abideen narrated it via an authentic chain. So Imam Bukhari took it. But there's nothing from Marwan. Independently, there's nothing from Marwan. Why? Because of his character, because of his profile. Likewise, people who killed Hussein, you cannot just throw something at Sunnis and say, answer this now because your people, you are narrating from the killers of Hussein. No, we're not. We're not. We have thousands of reporters. All you could find is two names and even they have been condemned. Our ulama have condemned their names and they have made it very clear that we do not accept anything from them even though you might find here and there one or two examples, you know, clutching onto straws. Just clutching onto straws. Something, just let us grab something that will, you know, protect us from drowning. No, you cannot be clutching onto them because they have drowned and they will take you down with them. This is the point. Now coming to the issue of the Sahaba and the children in Kufa. Okay, I so challenge you. Wait, sorry, wait, sorry, let me one, finish. One let me point, finish. Point, yeah, point, yeah, 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 very quickly. I'll, I'll continue. Can very you name me those narrators who we narrated from? Um, because yeah. you, you made a claim. I'm coming to that point. Children. Children of the people of Kufa. Who are these children of the people of Kufa? 5,000 of them. The ones who were present in the battlefield. Now, Sayyid Ali tried to brush it aside by claiming no. that they were the Sahaba and the children. No, no. Where did the people of Iraq go when the Sahaba came? Did they wipe them out? The people of Iraq, the Persians, the Sassanids, what happened to them? When the Sahaba, the Sahaba were always the minority, always. As long as they lived, every single foreign land they went to, 
They were always, oh, I'm saying always. Minority. You know what that means? Abad, Abadan. They were always the minority. It were the native people who had embraced Islam at the hands of the Sahaba. The they were the, were the majority. Overwhelming majority. I'm saying Sahaba were 1%. 99% of these people were the natives. In Kufa, the Iraqis who were following Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu an, okay, majority of them were local Iraqis, okay, who had embraced Islam. Some of them, they were from other tribes who had come in, okay. It is possible that some Sahaba were there, like, but majority, amazingly, what we find there, the Khawarij, the Battle of Nahrawan, the Battle of Nahrawan, 10,000 Khawarij were killed by the uh, by Ali bin Abi Talib. How many Sahaba were there? Amazingly. The question is, where did these people come from? Did they pop into existence on earth? Who are these people, right? You might find one or two names here and there. Oh, this guy was there, that guy was there. Your big Sahabi. Your crowned, the most important Sahabi or Tabi who ever lived. This is how you can inflate the profiles of people who had no significance in our history. We, we don't praise them, we don't even know them. The name you mentioned, I don't, wallahi, I've, I've never... You not knowing yeah, I don't know, I don't know. You not I, 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 I don't know about him. Okay, okay. 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 So now, 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 wait, wait. Who is a Sahabi, for example? We had people among the Sahaba who made major mistakes. <clears throat> they committed major sins. Do we defend their mistakes? No. no. If someone happened to be there in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people, it is with him. <laughs> he deals, he, let Allah deal with him. For example, who was the verse revealed about? It was revealed about Walid bin Mughira. Walid bin Mughira was the man who was the governor of Kufa, if not Basra, one of these two cities. And he came out to lead the prayer when he was drunk. Walid bin Uqba. Walid bin Uqba, sorry. Not Walid bin Mughira. Was it Walid bin Mughira or Walid bin Uqba? Uqba bin Naab. Uqba. Walid bin Uqba or Walid bin Mughira? I don't know, one of, the, one of these two. Okay. okay. Yeah. So do we defend him? No. We believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called him far second the Quran. That, that was because of his drinking habit. Okay. We don't defend the Sahaba. Exceptional cases where they did things like this. Yeah. We don't defend them. They, they don't represent us. You can't use them as the representative example of the Sunni school. No. No. Now coming to the issue of the people of Kufa, people who killed Hussein, these 5,000 who were there? Were they Qureshis? Were they Thakafis? <laughs> were they from Banu Asad? Who were they? Where did they come from? They were the Iraqis, right? These were the same people who were cursed by Ali on the member according to Nahjul Balagha. Nahjul Balagha. And why is Hussein even going to them, radiallahu anhu, when he knows who they are? Ali, his father cursed them that I wish I had the followers of Muawiyah with me, I would conquer the world. Look yeah. at you people. Look at you people, what you are, the quality you are. Hassan, when he came to power, why did he go and give bayah to Muawiyah? Why? Because he had no support. These same people of Kufa. Why did he give bayah because? Okay, now another challenge. Wait, 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 that's another topic. Uh, because you want to discuss? No, no, I'm just saying. Why yeah, did you say he gave bayah because he never had support, right? Yeah, that was part of the reason. Okay, he was. Okay. Why you laughing? Why you laughing? So it's a serious discussion. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, so, so Hassan was betrayed. Yeah. Now, Hussein was betrayed by the same people. So these people have a consistent behavior, which was very quickly, I'm okay. finishing right now. So they were a very cursed people. Now I challenge you, I'm going to mention some names. Okay. I'm going to challenge you to show me that these people, first of all, okay, leave, yeah, leave. First of all, first of all, the hadith you have in your books doesn't even reach the, the Prophet. Let alone okay, Ali. Now we're going to Wait, no, 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 This is, I, this is the, I'm making this claim that these are the children of the people who killed Hussein. That's the point. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, they, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So stop calling us following people who killed the Sahaba. Bro, this is you are the ones following people. Yeah. Is that yeah. proven that they, they draw this? Is that proven? The children, the children of the very people who killed Hussein. So how can, did Ali curse them? Did, did, did Ali curse the people of Kufa? How can they how can they be blessing in them? Okay, well, no, okay. So, so these the are the, the when Ali is saying to to these people that you are worthless, you are useless, you are hypocrites, you are munafiqeen. Can they have blessings in the children? Those people. Okay, so what? No, no, listen. Okay, let me finish. No, we don't. We don't. Okay, I think Ali, Ali, according to your books, Nahjul Balaga. Go and read it. Nahjul Balaga. Ali is condemning the people yeah, of Kufa. Can they have blessings in the in the progeny? Because he condemned them. Yes. Of course they can. Because okay. okay. you condemn someone, okay. the lineage can't have blessing. Okay. So who's you, open up the lineage? So, so okay. Who's open up the lineage? Okay. So you accept, you accept 
Umar bin Abdul who was who was cursed from the Prophet? His forefathers. Who? Who's his forefathers? The Prophet. Okay. No. Umar bin Abdul Aziz is not from Muawiya. He's Banu Umayyah. Banu Umayyah. When was Banu Umayyah cursed by the Prophet? Yeah, he was. The Prophet cursed them. There's a tradition, many traditions. Which one? Monkeys. Monkeys. That one. No. No. It's not authentic. That one. It's not authentic. Which one? Which one? Which one? Show it to you if you like. Show me an authentic report with the Prophet. The Prophet cursed Banu Umayyah. Banu Umayyah. Yeah. No, 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 Khilafa. Banu Umayyah is a family. The tribe. Yes, of course. Find it. No, no, do it. Find it. Of course, find it. There is so you can find it now. Find it. Make you waste time because you can't do it there now. No, no, find it. Google it. Google it. So is it there or not? No, it's not. Which one? That the Prophet said Banu Umayyah is X, Y, Z. Show me. Show me. Show me. Ali, ask me now the same question about the people of Kufa. And you are following the children. My point was, you are using their was, lens to study the Ahlul Bayt. And you end up with this if religion. Cursed, if someone's cursed, lineage can't yes. be good. I don't get it. No, no, exactly. That's my point. No, no. If someone's cursed, does that mean my forefathers, because my yeah. children can't be good? No, bro, that's no. like, I'm not saying that. That's like the reason why I'm, 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 I'm saying, I'm so, saying, at least you admit today that you are following the children of the killers of the Ahlul Bayt. Yes, you are following that. Their forefathers were there. Yes, yes, they are Kufa. I said to I'm asking you, these people who were, who were narrating from, from Kufa. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hisham bin Hakam, I said, I said by Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, Zurarat ibn Ayyan, Zurarat ibn Ayyan. So coming back to the point, look. Are they from, I Kufa? Asked, are they from Kufa? Number one. I wow, he's making <laughs> broad claims. I, I don't know, there's big claims. No, if they are from Kufa and they are native Kufa. I believe I was from Kufa. Uh, did I say so every? Was his forefather killing his son? Listen, 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 guys. Did What's I say the Jal lived in Kufa? Did his forefather kill his son? Did I say the Jal? I am saying these people. These general claims. Listen, yeah, there's no. a tradition. There's a tradition. Abu, Abu Nifa was not from Kufa, listen, by the listen. way. Listen, listen. His father was. He was listen, no, 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 no. He came there. He came there when he was young. Ask me. Yeah. You want to know where Abu, Abu, Abu Nifa was native from? Harat, isn't it? Where was he? Was it Harat? Adnan Bay. So. So why did you say? Because he was brought up there. So you don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm saying these people were the children of the very people who killed Hussein. That's the point I'm making. Go and check. Have you shown the lineage? Yes, I know the lineage. Show it. Wait, wait. No, no, I know. I said it. I know. Okay, wait a minute. If I do, if I do, okay. If you show. No, 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 no. If I do. That these people were the you native people of Kufa. So I know, I know. Okay. I, I know. No, if guys. I do, then what? No, no, no. It's a very yeah, important. Yeah, the Shia brothers and sisters are making you look bad. Anyway, if I do, listen, I know, then what? Do, then, then, then what? Do you know you're proven. You're gonna abandon it? You know, of course, you know you're proven. No, no, you're no, no. proven that someone who was bad, their children yeah, were good. That's not. That's not really. Wait, wait. No. What did I prove? No, 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 no. I am saying. In Islam, do we have this concept that if you're bad, if your great great grandchildren, no, 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 no original sin. No original sin. Okay, is this bad? Okay. Is Yazid bad? I, I'm asking. Is Muawiyah good? I'm asking. I'm asking. Is Yazid bad? Yes, come here. Is Muawiyah good? That's what I said Yazid is bad. Yazid is bad. Yazid is bad. Is bad? Yazid is bad. Is Umbin Saad bad? I'm Yazid is bad. Did you hear me? And who's his father? Okay. He's not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. But, but, but a good father. What kind of concept is this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you. So you're saying that these very people. And even if you assume that, an unbite, listen, let me finish up. Who's Umbin Saad? Who's Umbin Saad? Wait, wait. So, so you, you, you are. That doesn't mean anything. Let us establish first. Do you admit that you are following? Made the claim. The children. Provided. You're following the children of the, the of the killers of Hussein. No, because you haven't shown evidence. You haven't. Okay. Show the lead. Show Kufa. me in the oh, oh, okay, hold on. This is okay. This is the lead. In London, someone gets killed. The proof that it's my forefathers is because my children live in London. Yeah. Wow. Can I respond? Wow, wow, wow. Can I respond? Salam on your logic.